Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to find a solution to this equation x squared minus y squared equal to 5. We are given that both x and y are positive integers. Okay, this is a condition. Um, before we start, you should know that x squared minus y squared is nothing but difference of two squares, which we can express as x minus y multiplied by x plus y and the whole of this equal to 5. These are two factors that can be multiplied to get 5. And what are the factors of 5? Factors of 5 are plus or minus 5 and the plus or minus 1. But you know x and y are positive integers and if this is true definitely x squared must be greater than y squared. And hence, we are going to consider only the positive factors of 5. So we're going to use 5 and 1, where x minus y could either be 5 or 1, and also x plus y could either be 5 or 1. So we are going to form two separate system of equations. So let me form the first one. If x minus y is equal to 5, x plus y will be equal to 1. And the second condition, if x minus y is equal to 1, then x plus y will be equal to 5. These are the two equations we are going to solve simultaneously. Let's start with this one. From these two equations, we are going to add them together. To the left hand side, x plus x is 2x. Middle times negative y plus positive y is 0. To the right hand side, 5 plus 1 is 6. Divide both sides by 2, we have x is equal to 30 here. So if x is equal to 30, we can substitute it back in either equation 1 or equation 2. Let me use equation 1. From equation 1, we can make y the subject, which is going to be x minus 5, right? But x is 30, so y equal to 30 minus 5, and y is equal to negative 2. So when x is positive 3, y is negative 2. Let's go to the other equation. Equally, we are going to add. To the left hand side, we have x plus x, which is 2x. Middle terms become 0. To the right hand side, we have 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. And 2x equal to 6. If you divide both sides by 2, x will be equal to 3. Right? To find the value of y, we can substitute it in either equation 1 or equation 2. Let us use equation 1. From equation 1, you can see that y will be equal to x minus 1. But x is 3, we have y equal to 3 minus 1. And y is equal to 2. And here you can see that both x and y are positive. And this is the solution we are going to consider. Because we say both x and y are positive integers. Therefore, we conclude that x, y equal to 3 and 2, respectively. But you know that y can take negative value because once you square that, it will become positive. But since the question is only interested in the positive integers, we have to consider 3 and 2. And let us substitute them here. When x is 3, we have 3 squared is 9 minus when y is 2, we have 2 squared is 4. Is 9 minus 4 equal to 5? Definitely. And hence, we are right. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.